Elon Musk once said, for one mile or 1.6 kilometers of tunnel cost $1 billion. The Chinese now want to build a tunnel 193 kilometers long at a cost of $77 billion. It's Sunday the 28th of November 2021. It's still the Thanksgiving day and I do have my coffee but I do have a fly in my studio which is really annoying. I just wants to sit on the top of the coffee there but if I hold it hopefully he or she or whatever is not going to come. I don't like flies and they're very annoying. Today what are we talking about? Well, we do have the levels, we do have the weather, but we're going to talk about this water project, a water project from 7.5 kilometres away from the Three Gorges upstream on the north bank, going all the way to the Han River, a tunnel of 194 kilometres long. Now, as I said at the very beginning, this is sort of very strange because it's going to cost 77 billion American dollars. I really don't know where the Chinese water authority or government get this kind of cash to do something like this. They have made another one and you can see occasionally from the pictures that I'm showing you a 11 billion dollar one which is actually a white elephant so to speak. In other words it's going to be this kind of waterway is going to flood it done on the cheap now 77 for the other one 77 billion dollars is also done on the cheap and this is a quote from an expert of dams mr elon musk he did lots of underground tunnels in los angeles california usa and i remember him quoting a wise and incredibly rich, if not the richest man in the world, that one mile or 1.6 kilometers of a tunnel is about $1 billion to build. So how come China can do it at 77 billion? 194, shouldn't it cost around about $200 billion to make? 77 sounds, well, obviously a lot of money, but... Mm, it feels like it's done on the cheap. Do have a listen to what I'm going to read. Yes, I am going to read. Oh my God. And if you want to find out more information, do go to the YouTube channel called The China Observer, who does this in far more detail than I. What do I think of the whole project I'm going to do now, I was going to say a break, ha ha ha, but I'm going to do it now. So, this is 7.5 kilometers away from the Yangtze Free Gorges, upstream. Why in that particular place? Is it that the Free Gorges Dam is not operating 100% effectively? We sort of worked out the inflow and the outflow and we realized that the generators are only doing 35% of the output of electricity. So there is this massive object midstream of the Yangtze River in the Free Gorges Dam there stuck in the middle. Um, does it do flood protection? Well yes a little bit but last year proved that it didn't. The fly is just there now it's gone by the way. So to, it's going to, you feel like the free gorded dam is just going to be just let to lie there. And the water, we said how many cubic meters per year, 3.9 billion cubic meters per year of water are going to be diverted away from the free gorges to the Han River 
for the problems in the north, which seems to be not doing too well with water. A little bit confusing, I would agree with you. So when the floods come next year, for example, the Free Gorges Dam is there to protect the floods, yet yeah, granted, even though we know it doesn't do it too well. All the other dams are before, which we have covered before, and we looked at the domino effect. So this tunnel, basically on the left-hand side going downstream, if the Free Gorges Dam was right in front of you, is the... Sorry, this fly is really annoying, but I have to do it this time, because in about five minutes, the workmen will come to do the plumbing downstairs, and they make a lot of noise is going to possibly help with the flooding of the Yangtze in 2022 and years to come. But at $77 billion, it seems to be, as I repeat, done on the cheap. Again, one kilometer, sorry, one mile should be about one billion US. Now, I know the work labor is a lot cheaper than the United States. They do shoddy workmanship, etc., etc. I can see the benefits, which is a good idea, but again, what you're dealing with China is messing with mother nature. Something is going to happen along the line. Yeah. This is a naturally flowing tunnel. In other words, it won't need any power. It's just going to be at, let's say, 100 meters, and the Hang River is down at, let's say, 20 meters or something. So it's going to be naturally flowing down to that, into a reservoir, and then moving on to the next stage, wherever the, you could say, water canal is going to go. Now, next to it, a little bit further downstream after the Free Gorges, they do have another one, you can see. But that has um, proved to be ineffective and not very good related to floods. It's not flood controlled. It's not. It hasn't been fought through 100%. You can see from the picture here that some of the floods, how it has been affected. Do check out China Observer again because they do it far better than me, but I'm just sort of sharing the information with you. Now, let's go back to the Three Gorges. Let's have a look at the levels. And also, I don't know, maybe a little bit of a disco weather on a Sunday. Yeah, baby. That really is about it for me for today on Sunday, the 28th of November, 2021. Don't forget the merchandise. You can buy a mug and hopefully one of the mugs is being shipped to me and hopefully going to get it within the next couple of weeks. Then you can see that everything is genuine. And again, it's all going to a good cause. There's nothing going into my back pocket, just the cost of everything. Then the proceeds are going to go to an orphanage here in Cambodia, in my town, or where I live in Siam Rip. Have a happy Sunday. I think many people may be going back to work tomorrow, so I hope you enjoyed the Thanksgiving weekend, and I will see you, I would like to say bright and early on a Monday, but it depends where you are in the world. Be good, be well, be safe. Thank you, as always, for your time. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. Or the squeaky chair. <laughs> On October the 13th, 2021, China's South to North Water Diversion Corporation held a meeting in Wuhan to establish the group of a large-scale water conservation project that will transfer water from the Yangtze River to replenish the Han River. The reservoir on the Han River is the water source South to North 
water transfer project, which is designed to transfer 10 billion tonnes of water from the south to the north per year. This project is the first to follow the project to the 77 billion US dollar other projects that you can see on the map, with a total budget of about 11 billion American dollars, making undoubtedly another mega water transfer project. Expenditures of the project are huge. Why are there such large scale follow up projects when the first one was a white elephant and failed? The main function of the project is designed to divert water from the Yangtze to the Han River. The water intake on the north bank of the Three Gorges Dam Reservoir, just 7.5 kilometres upstream of the Three Gorges Dam for 194.3 kilometre long tunnel water, will be diverted to the Han River at 5 kilometres downstream of the Reservoir Dam. The equivalent water passage dam diameter of the diversion is 10.2 meters and the flow rate is 170 to 212 cubic meters per second. The altitudes of the inlet and outlet of the channel are 127 and 73 respectively. So the water will flow naturally through the tunnel, diverting a total of 3.9 billion cubic meters of water in the Yangtze to the Han every year.